Hello everyone. 2021 has been a very difficult year for all those people who want to get the Canadian PR. And even when RCC starts issuing the FSW draws, it's not going to be easy because the cutoff scores are going to be very high. Even throughout this year, multiple PNP draws have been conducted and also PNP specific express entry draws have never stopped. So it won't be wrong to say that if you have got a PNP nomination, it's a sure shot ticket to Canada. So in this video, we'll see the different streams of different PNPs where you don't need a job offer. I know getting a job offer from Canada while you're in your home country is very difficult. So that's why I've made this video to talk only about those PNP streams where you can actually get a PNP without having a job offer. Let's get started. So this is a map of Canada and you see different provinces and territories marked over there. All of them have their own PNP programs but not all of them offer PNP nominations without a job offer. So in this video we'll talk only about those PNP programs and their streams which offer nominations without a job offer. So let's get started with number one which is Ontario and of course we have Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program OINP. Now under OINP there are multiple streams but we are going to talk only about Human Capital Priority Stream because this is the one that offers a PNP nomination without a job offer. Now under HCP stream there are two different categories. One for Federal Skilled Worker Program, the other one for Canadian Experience Class. To be eligible for either of them you need to have an express entry profile. A unique thing about it is that candidates may not apply directly to this stream. Instead, they must first receive an NOI from the OINP based on the express entry profile. Selected candidates just have 45 calendar days to apply to the OINP under the stream. If the application is approved, candidates will be notified of their nomination by OINP, which they can accept and use to apply to RSEC for their Canadian PR. So again, just to make it very clear, you cannot apply for any of these streams from your own. Ontario will individually pick your profiles and send you notifications. Very important thing to note here is that when you're creating your express entry profile, you have to select either Ontario or all provinces and territories. I would suggest you select all provinces and territories so that you can express your interest for other provinces as well. Okay, a couple of years ago, Ontario introduced OINP HCP tech draws as well, which is for specific NOC codes from the tech world. So you have software engineers and designers, NOC 2173, computer programmers and interactive media developers, NOC 2174, NOC 2147, 2175, 2172 and 0213. So for these six different NOC codes, Ontario conducts tech draws and at times these tech draws are huge. More than thousand people get invited in these tech draws. So all the people belonging to these NOC codes, you stand a great chance of receiving an NOI from Ontario. Okay, now let's talk about the next province, which is Saskatchewan. Of course, it has its own PNP program named as Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program, SINP. And of course, it has also got many streams, but we won't talk all about them. We will only talk about the stream, which does not require the job offer, which is International Skilled Worker category. So it has got two sub streams, which is Saskatchewan Express Entry and Occupation in Demand. Now to talk about the eligibility criteria, I've taken the screenshot from my own video where I talked in detail about SINP. So of course, for the Saskatchewan Express Entry subcategory, we do need an Express Entry profile. While for the Occupation in Demand, we don't need it. Then the good thing about Occupation in Demand subcategory is that the minimum score is CLB4. And I want to let you know that Saskatchewan has its own point system and you need to score 60 points out of 100 in order to be eligible for either of these categories and a minimum job experience of one year in the past 10 years in that skilled profession of NOC 0, A or B is required. Now you can go on to the SINP website for the in-demand occupations as well. But the main difference between these two subcategories is that the first one is through express entry while the second one is only through Saskatchewan. In an ideal world, the processing times for the express entry subcategory would be much faster. However, we cannot comment on it due to the delayed processing times because of COVID-19. How this EUI process actually works? 
First of all, you can submit the EUI profile by filing the online form. Your profile will be ranked based on the points scored in SINP system and ITA will be issued through regular draws. And once you get the ITA, you'll have 60 days to submit the completed online application to the SINP. And the application fees is 300 Canadian dollars. And as I told you to check out the details of the SINP PNP program, you can check out the full video. I'll provide the link in the description box below. Okay, before we talk about other PNPs, let me take a moment to thank Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Surfshark is not just a VPN, it helps you protect from email and password leaks, hacked websites, identity theft, data breach and whatnot. One of the biggest advantages that I personally felt was that without Surfshark, I was not able to access a lot of Hollywood content from platforms like Disney, Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime etc. while I was in India last week. And similarly, I'm not able to access a lot of Bollywood movies and web series from Canada. But with Surfshark, problem solved. You can access content from around the world, so Surfshark is more than just a VPN. And because it's a Black Friday week, they have got a special offer where you can get 83% off and an extra 4 months free. Click the link in the description box below. Ok, the next province is Alberta and we are going to talk about Alberta Immigrant Nominee Program. And we are going to talk about the AINP's Express Entry Stream which allows Alberta to nominate limited number of eligible candidates from the Government of Canada's Express Entry Pool. Now again, just like OINP's HCP draw, you cannot apply for it. However, AINP will select candidates based on the self-declared information in the Express Entry Profile. So remember I told you to select the All Provinces and Territories option when you create your Express Entry Profile. This is very crucial. The eligibility criteria are also very simple. You can go on to the detailed video for the AINP and you can check out its details. And talking about the process, it is very similar to what we discussed in the case of Ontario. First of all, Alberta will pick your profile from the Express Entry Pool and they will send a notification of interest letter to the eligible candidates. Once you've got that letter, you have to submit the documents and once you've received the provincial nomination then you can go on to apply it through the federal government's express entry system okay now let's talk about another famous pnp program which is from manitoba the manitoba pnp program so we'll not talk about all the streams all the categories we'll only talk about the skilled workers overseas category because this is the one where the job offer is not required but it has got another condition Let's talk about that. So the step-by-step -step process actually involves a similar kind of a process where you will submit the expression of interest and then the highest scoring qualified candidates with a connection to Manitoba are invited to submit an MPNP application which means that if you've got a connection in Manitoba which means if you've got a friend or relative in Manitoba who are ready to provide their documents to confirm that you are a known person so yes any relative or friend will do but that is very important if you talk about Manitoba PNP if you have that kind of connection in Manitoba then you can score certain points in their points table I'm not talking about the express entry points table in their own points table and in their regular draws you can get an invitation you'll get 60 days time to submit a completed application with the required documents and following a thorough assessment, the MPNP nominates successful candidates to make a separate application to the Government of Canada for the Canadian PR through the Express Entry System. Now again, I have made a separate video for all of these different PNP programs. If you want, you can go through that in detail. I know there won't be many people who would have connections in Manitoba, so I don't want to get into too much detail or this video is going to be very very lengthy. Without wasting any more time, I'll move to other province which is Prince Edward Island. This is a very small province but still it has got its own PNP program with quite a few PNP streams but we'll talk only about PEI PNP Express Entry. The eligibility criteria says that to be eligible for the nomination, you must meet one of the requirements of one of the federal economic immigration programs whether it is FSW, FSTC or a Canadian experience class that is CEC. Of course you should have your express entry profile created. There are two different pathways for one of which you actually need a job offer 
but for the other pathway you don't need a job offer so that is the pathway that we want to refer in this video yes it is mentioned in their website that priorities would be given to the applicants that are living and working in pei but it's not an eligibility criteria even if you're living or working outside of canada and even if you don't have a job offer you would still be eligible to go through the pei points table in detail and also the step-by-step -step process i'll provide the link to the video where i've explained in very much detail about all of that you can go through that video as well all right guys towards the last i want to talk about quebec because quebec hasn't got its own pnp program the name is not pnp it's not a provincial nomination program it has got its own immigration program so we'll talk about the regular skilled worker program which can actually get you a nomination and you can get the pr without the job offer so it's very important to understand that this one is different from the express entry also few years ago it was a first come first serve basis kind of a program but now it's different now you can create your profile in the arima portal so the selection is made on the basis of a selection grid just like the other provinces quebec has its, its own points table and based on various factors you'd be getting certain points many people think that for quebec french proficiency is mandatory but that's not the case even if you have english proficiency then you can still be eligible but definitely if you have french proficiency then you definitely get more points and your chances of getting the pr through this program would be much higher talking about the process first of all a very important thing to note here is that for English only IELTS is accepted, CELPIP is not accepted but for French there are various other tests which are accepted. Just like the other provinces you have to create an expression of interest profile in their portal based on your score and the labour market needs of the province you'll get the invitation and you would have 3 months time to complete your application. Here you would need to submit the documents and the processing times might be more than one year because of COVID-19. Now, once you've got the CSQ, which is Quebec Selection Certificate, just like the provincial nomination, just the names are different, then you can apply to the federal government for the Canadian permanent residency. And there you have to submit the medical test reports and the police clearance certificates. The Canadian government won't assess your human capital or economic credentials. Again, there's a separate video for this. I'll provide the link to all those videos in the description box below if you're interested you can check it out okay guys that's it for this video uh, i really hope that uh, the information provided in this video would be helpful for you i really wanted to make this video to help all those people out who have been struggling to get a pnp nomination you have to watch 10 12 videos to understand which province are you actually interested in or where you might be eligible but in this one video you can get to know about a lot of details of those PNP programs which you might be able to qualify which can definitely help you to get the Canadian PR.